I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on inequalities. Now, we will discuss the meaning of the symbols which are widely used for union and intersection of sets. These symbols are widely used in also representing the solution on number line. And they are extremely important when we are working on inequalities. So based on this, the question here is, the symbols for union and intersection are used to write interval for the elements of a set. Explain the given intervals and graph the resulting set of values on a number line. So here we have four parts to it. I like you to pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin with the interpretation of the given interval. So whenever we use the symbol which stands for union, what does it mean? It signifies set of all the elements from either set. So this means set of all elements from either set. Is that clear? So that is the meaning of union. And when we are saying intersection, that means what? This intersection signifies the set of only those elements common to both. So this means only those elements common to, we will talk about two sets here, so common to both. Is that clear to you? Right. So, on a number line, how are we going to represent them? Now, you know the meaning of this. I like you to pause the video and then represent the solution on a number line. So, let us first see what type of sets we are given. So, here we are saying all the elements which are between minus 3 and minus 1, where minus 3 is included, this square bracket, and minus 1 is not included. So I would say minus 3, let me say minus 3 is here, and then minus 1 is right there. Then we are saying union 1, 2, 3. So somewhere in between will be 0, and then we say 1 is not included, however, 3 is included. Right, so this is what is given to us, correct? So this is your minus 3, this is minus 1, somewhere here, let me write 0 here, okay? That is 1 for you, this is 3. Now when I say union, it means what? Union means on a number line, all this. So we are going to include this, but we are not going to include 1 because it is not there in the set, correct? So open circle here and a filled in at 3 shows you the complete set. So that is the result. Is that clear to you? In terms of uh, inequalities, you could write like this, where x is greater than or equal to minus 3 and less than minus 1, comma. That is for union many times we write, correct? And this is from 1 to 3. So these are different ways of representing what was given to us. So I hope that is absolutely clear, right? Now let's talk about intersection. So when you say intersection, there will be some overlapping and only that overlapping will be part of our solution. So let's say minus 7, we are saying this is minus 7 is included and let's say 3. Okay, so let's say this is 3 for us. Okay, so let me write the first one in a different ink. This is minus 7 to 3. Okay, let's say 0 is somewhere here. And the, the other one, we could take it in this ink. 
minus 3 to 7, right? So, so let's say this is minus 3, where minus 3 is included, right? And 7. So we are saying the other one is from minus 3, and that is 7. The symbol here is intersection. Intersection means what overlaps. Do you see that part? Now, one set is saying all this. The other set is saying minus 3 to min to plus 7. So, what overlaps is in between. Do you see this part? So, that becomes our solution. So, in this case, the solution set will be from minus 3 we need to include it, right, to 3. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to interpret the given interval. This interpretation is extremely important when you are working with inequalities. Perfect. Now, you can pause the video and answer C and D. What does that mean? Here, on a number line, I'll just provide you with the solution, right? I hope you have understood the concepts. If not, you can always include your questions in the comments. From minus infinity, there's a mistake here. We can never include infinity, right? So, so sorry for that. This can never be included, right? So this is this is a mistake okay now it's correct perfect good so we are saying minus infinity to zero basically means let's say this is zero for us zero is not being included left side of zero do you see that part so that basically means left side of zero less than zero and here we are saying greater than 1, so not including 1. Greater than 1. So therefore, everything which is on the left side of 0 is part of our solution. We are talking about union. And everything on the right side of 1 is also part of solution. So everything, so we could write this also as x belongs to real numbers so that x is not between not a good way to write. So anyway, uh, excluding, I should have written excluding from 0 to 1, right? So not between 0 to 1. Correct? So what I'm trying to say is all real numbers excluding 0 to 1. That's what it means. Okay. Now let's look into the second set, which is, we're again saying the interval is from minus infinity to 0. So the first interval is given like this, left side of 0. Okay. And the other one is right side of 1. Is the same question. Let me change this. Okay, so we'll change this question. Question now becomes from minus infinity to, to 1 intersection from minus 1 to infinity. Okay, so I've changed the question. Uh, now I think it makes sense. So let this be the question for you right provide the solution for this particular question okay on the number line let me show you the answer sorry for that so basically one of the set is 
between 1 to minus infinity that means on the left side of 1 so if this is 1 then the one set is on the left side of 1 the other one is on the right side of minus 1 so the common set here is between 1 and minus 1 is that clear not including them perfect so that becomes your solution so everything in between 1 and minus 1 is the solution so x is greater than minus 1 and x is less than 1 correct so that is how you are going to write the inequality i hope it makes sense sorry for the mistakes in typing out but i hope it is understandable feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best